It's not every day I find a product I am in awe of, but this keyboard, this is one of them. I've been on a quest to optimize my space to not only make me work as efficiently as possible, but also to create an environment that reduces pain while I work or play. And well, to be honest, I want it to look cool too. Around a year ago on my channel, I reviewed the MX Keys Mini, which I'm a big fan of. I ended up selling it with my desktop, but I still think for the price, it is a great keyboard that is satisfying to type on. It's what you get when you want a good standard keyboard that's wireless, has a great battery, and is backlit. I loved that keyboard and considered buying it again, but I want something a little more ergonomic, something a little more interesting that will enhance how I work. So I got this instead, and let me tell you, this is a completely different beast. This is not just a keyboard, this is a lifestyle choice. You don't buy a keyboard like this because you just want a cool keyboard that works and looks great. You buy something like this because you want to change how you work and because you know deep inside you could be working faster and smarter. You buy this because you have a feeling your current keyboard is limiting what you are capable of and you want something that, instead of being a bottleneck for how fast you work, becomes an extension of yourself that allows you to work as fast as you can move and think. This is the ultimate hacking keyboard and I found it because I've been upgrading my workstation recently and since I spend a lot of time there, well, I want to invest in the best tools possible to enhance my workflow and eliminate pain wherever possible. And after doing my research and discovering a whole world of interesting keyboards, the one that really stood out to me was this one. There's just something about it. The design makes sense to me, and as you'll see in a moment, it is far more thoughtful than I could have ever imagined. I do want to say that I reached out to them, and they kindly sent me this keyboard plus the accessories that go along with it for free. But with that being said, I told them I would be brutally honest in this video with it, and they didn't even hesitate to send it. That's the kind of confidence I love to see in a company. And just so you know, the keyboard itself costs $320 US, so it's not cheap. But if you're familiar with custom built keyboards and this one is very customizable, that's actually not too bad for price. Though each accessory is another 65 to $80 and I'll go over whether or not those are necessary in a moment. Now, if you know me, you'll know I'm a very frugal person. I'm a thrifter, I love marketplace and buy everything I can secondhand to save money, but there are a few areas in life where I have no problem spending extra money on things like pillows, beds, shoes, knives. You know, the things that we use every day, often for a large chunk of the day. Like if you've ever had the wrong pair of shoes on a long trip, you know it can turn that trip into a nightmare. A bad pillow can create all types of constant neck pain and a bad or poorly designed keyboard or workspace can create all types of wrist, elbow and shoulder pain that stays with you for life. What you want in a desk setup is to be in a position that's natural, where you aren't contorting your body to use the equipment. That's why I'm drawn to these 60% keyboards. They allow you to use your mouse closer to the center. When you use a keyboard with a numpad, for example, it means you have to put your mouse beside it, which is much further away, and if you spend a lot of time in this position, I mean, look at my elbow, look at my shoulder. Repetitive movement in this position will create all kinds of problems. Oh, I can feel it right now, it feels terrible. The beauty of a design like this is it allows my body to sit comfortably without my joints being at odd angles. So that's good. And someone like my wife, she's an accountant. She spends all day in a spreadsheet where she's bouncing around cells and she needs a number pad. She could get a Bluetooth numpad in addition to a keyboard like this, but some people are just stubborn. She loves her old keyboard and she doesn't want to invest in anything else to get the right gear. It's crazy to me, but I'm the kind of person who would rather get the right gear, spend a little bit of money and be happy. With a smaller keyboard without a number pad, well, that's pretty common. This doesn't have a number pad, however, it sort of does. It sort of has whatever you want because the ability to customize this keyboard is absolutely bonkers. When you get this keyboard and begin to set it up, it directs you to an orientation. It's at this moment where you realize the minds who created this keyboard don't think like you or me. This is the moment where you start to understand what they had in mind for how to use this keyboard. And there was a moment of panic, almost because you didn't even fathom you could use a keyboard this way. Like, OMG, how could I ever remember all of these actions? but over time you do through muscle memory. They know whenever your hands leave the keyboard, you're wasting time. That's why you can get these modules, for example, so you can use the mouse with your thumb while keeping your fingers in the main 
Typing keys. See, when I was first considering buying it with my own money, I was thinking, well, which mouse accessory do I have to buy? And the answer is, you don't need to buy any of them because the keyboard has a built-in mouse. Yeah, see this button? You hold this, then you use your right hand from its natural position to easily move the mouse. Psh, mind blown. Say you're browsing Reddit and you want to scroll. Sure, you could use the mouse, but that's slow. This little tiny cluster has a scroll, so you could just use that. Or you could use the mod buttons with the page up, page down. There are so many ways you can bounce around on the screen without your fingers ever leaving the keyboard. It's nuts. Once I got a taste for just how deep that well runs with all the customizations and shortcuts, like I said, I panicked a moment. I got so intimidated by this, it freaked me out. Felt like I was in way over my head. But then I started to get some ideas for ways I could use these customizations to speed up my workflow. Then after using it for some time, things just started to flow. Eventually you start bouncing around faster than you ever have before and it's fun. It's addicting to see how fast you can go and to see what else you can streamline. So it has all kinds of these modification buttons. You can create shortcuts for whatever you can think of. Though I do love this module on the left. The extra key cluster. I do a lot of copy and pasting while video editing, so I made this key copy, this key paste, and this key delete, since Mac keyboards don't have a delete key, and it's useful for me while typing and editing. Also, there's neat little hidden buttons on the keyboard. Since I wanted a spacebar on my left hand instead of the mod key, I programmed the mod button to be a spacebar, then I moved the mod button to this hidden button. So now if I wanna use the arrow keys, which I use all the time, I just have to hold that button and use my right hand keys you know, the same keys where you'd move the mouse around if you held the mouse button over here. Talk about efficiency. I love it. Move the mouse like here, use the arrow keys here. It's just, it's so easy and so efficient. Once you start getting used to it, it's crazy. Okay, okay, let's talk about the build quality. From the moment I unboxed the very first piece, I knew the quality was going to be absolutely top notch. This feels like something that will last a lifetime. It's thick. Each part is nice to the touch and everything tightens with a satisfying snugness that feels like it's not going anywhere or not, it's not gonna strip. It has a nice weight and doesn't move while you're typing around. They come pre-built, which is nice, but if you wanna change switches or caps, you can. Heck, they really don't mind you do whatever you want with this thing. All the software is open source as well, so depending on what kind of brain you have, the sky is the limit. Let's talk about the design and ergonomics. I think it looks great. I went with the straight up black, but I was really close to picking the mustard one. I mean, they're all cool. I almost like the blue one too, but I'm happy with the black. One of the reasons I was attracted to this keyboard in particular was the tenting options. I love the thought of being able to set the angle on my keyboard based on how I like to sit and what's comfortable for my body. I sit in a variety of positions, so I like having a variety of options. It's so cool too that you can connect the keyboard and have an old fashioned small little keyboard, but then you're able to open it up and place it wherever you'd like. I find this is about where I like it for the majority of the time. They shipped me the quiet brown switches as I wanted the quietest keys possible, so it's not too noisy, as you can hear. It's a satisfying sound. I will say since I've been using my MacBook Pro keyboard, which I actually really like, and I believe they use a butterfly switch mechanism and are very short, these keys feel quite a bit taller. I get used to it, but when I switch back and forth from my laptop to this keyboard, my fingers get a little tired using this one since they have to work a little bit more. But it's a very satisfying typing experience. You can spend some time on their website deciding which keys sound best for you. Let's talk about the accessories. First, the optional mice modules. I just think it's so cool that you can add these modules on the fly and customize them however you'd like. It looks cool, it feels cool. More buttons and options are just always nice. For the left hand, I think the extra keys cluster is a must have. You will quickly and easily be able to find uses for each of the keys. Plus the built-in scroll is just nice. Not only does the scroll go up and down, it also goes left and right. Sick. You also have buttons beside the scroll which act as a left and right click for a mouse, which makes it faster to highlight things if we were to use the built-in keyboard mouse to move then use your left hand to click. Fast once you get used to it, takes a while to get used to. With the mouse modules, while you don't need any of them, I'm not gonna lie, they are handy. I find I use the mouse modules more than the built-in keyboard mouse. I'd like to get good with that keyboard mouse, but that will require a lot of practice. Now out of the three mice options, I thought that the track point and track ball would be useless, but they're actually kind of satisfying to use. They both have mouse buttons on them, so you can just use your thumbs for small movements, but if you want more precision, you can alter your hand a bit when you need to. If you like those types of mice generally, you might be interested in these ones, but as expected, I think the trackpad module is the best. 
It doesn't have buttons on it, but it has the familiar double tap for click, two finger tap for right click, pinch to zoom, just all the things that you would use or are used to on your laptop. If I had to spend my own money, I would invest in the key cluster on the left and the trackpad on the right. I think that's a very slick combo and that's the one I use. $65 each though, yo. I still use my MX Master 3S mouse, just so you know. This touchpad doesn't replace my mouse. It's just nice sometimes when you need little movements. There are also two optional palm rests. The wood ones add a nice little touch of class, I think, but they're wood. They feel like wood. The rubber is nice. It feels a little more athletic. Is that a weird thing to say? You know what the watch strap? You either like rubber around your wrist or you don't. I do and personally think it's a tad bit more comfortable but I prefer the look of the wood. The wood feels good too, and I much prefer using either of the palm rests to using the keyboard without it. Another 65 to 80 bucks though for the palm rests, it's adding up. While I do like the palm rests, the best part about this is combining the keyboard with the tenting clips, another 10 bucks. Those are a must buy since they help angle the keyboard in a way that just feels more natural for my wrists. I mean, that's the whole point of this anyway, right? Part of why I was interested in this keyboard was because of those tenting options. So they were kind enough to send the riser kit and this is where it gets really interesting. Check this out. Depending on your needs, here's what these risers can do. I'll be honest, I thought I was going to use these right out of the gates, but the tenting legs have been enough for me so far. I still use my laptop and haven't switched full time to this keyboard yet, but as I'm planning on building a desktop one day, it will be interesting to see if I go back to these risers. I like the idea of them. My wrists are feeling great at the moment, but I could see how if you have issues with wrist flexion, these risers could be a game changer. They mimic the wrist placement of my wife's mouse. Sometimes with a product like a MacBook Pro, for example, sure it has amazing build quality, but you can tell they don't want you messing around with their stuff. Keep your secrets, Apple. With this, you know when you're drinking beer or wine with your friends and you think, maybe we could make better beer than this. Well, it seems like these people not only thought that about keyboards, they actually went out and did it. I love it when people have ideas that they know are better than what's being offered in the mainstream, and then they go and create it. And instead of guarding everything close to their chests, they're basically like, here, if you can make it better, do it. Again, that's the kind of confidence I love to see coming from entrepreneurs. It's hard not to wanna to support these guys. Look, I'm hardly scratching the surface with what this keyboard is capable of. But at this point, I think you can tell whether or not it's for you. If you're the kind of person who loves the idea of creating complicated macros on custom keys, or wanna be able to customize your workspace into something that fits your body, speeds up your workflow, and eliminates pain, I mean, this is practically the perfect keyboard for you. You can do whatever you want. You can change things around however you want to become more productive and more efficient. I feel like I'm still learning uses and tricks about this thing every day that just keep blowing my mind. You can use it like a regular keyboard out of the box and it feels great. Or you can take as much time as you want learning what this thing is fully capable of and pushing what you can do on it on your computer. These are my favorite kind of products to have, you know? They just make life better. The only negative I could say is that it's not wireless. Would it be cooler if it was wireless? Yeah, of course, but then you'd have to charge it, etc. So for me, it wasn't a deal breaker. I mean, the only other thing I could say is that for someone like me, someone used to the low keycap height of a laptop, these keys are a little high at first, but practically every keyboard will be like that. If there was an option to have butterfly switches or something like that, which I have on my MacBook Pro on this keyboard, that would be sweet since I switched between them. But honestly, these feel good and the more you get used to it, the less that matters at all. So at the end of the day, is this keyboard awesome? It is. Do I think everyone should go out and buy one? I don't. As I said, I'm a frugal person and with the modules that I think are must buys and the palm rests, this brings it up to $525 US or 720 Canadian. That's a lot of money right there. And if you just use your computer casually, I don't see a reason to spend this kind of money to buy this keyboard. Get the MX Keys Mini or something much cheaper. But if you spend all day at your keyboard and you wanna increase the efficiency of your workflow at the same time as creating a more ergonomic position that eliminates pain, then I absolutely think it's worth investing in yourself with a tool like this. I will leave links in the description if you wanna check it out. They are not affiliate links, so you would 100% be supporting them. I get nothing out of recommending this keyboard. I just think it's awesome. Imagine how much money people spend over the years on massage or physio because they don't have better ergonomics at their workstations. Sure, the price of this might sting, but you know what they say, 
buy once, cry once. This is a product that will last. I mean, you can fix it if it breaks, which it won't, and you can customize it to your heart's content. They're not paying me to say any of this. It's just that good. Nicely done to everyone over there at the Ultimate Hacking Keyboard. I'm truly impressed with what you've created. I appreciate your blog and software updates, and I can't wait to see what you do next. How about you? Do you have a special keyboard? Have you invested in yourself by making your space more ergonomic? Did you buy a different ergonomic keyboard instead of this one? And if so, which one? I'd love to hear about it and chat about this stuff in the comments. There were a lot of other ergo keyboards that I was very curious about, but at the end of the day, I gravitated towards this one and I'm glad I did. Time to get a chair next. Do you have any suggestions for me on that? Are Herman Miller's really that good? I've had my Ikea chair for 15 years. Maybe it's time for an upgrade, although it still works pretty well. If you wanna see more about the MX Keys mini keyboard I was talking about, watch that here. If you're curious about the mouse I use, check that out here. And if you wanna see more of me, but wanna see me talk about something other than computer stuff, here's what YouTube thinks you would like to watch next. As always, thank you for watching. If you're able to support the channel with likes, comments, or a sub, I would really appreciate it as it's the only way I can grow my channel. See you next time on The Sad Life.